Kia ora. Hello. We are Team One Beep from New Zealand. Hunger, poverty, disease. These are some of the biggest problems facing our world today. The poorest and at time helpless populations are the ones who are affected the most. They are forever consigned to generation after generation of a life of hardship and suffering. Governments are falling short, even on concerted efforts to reach out and lend a helping hand. Something must be done. We must act now. We examine the United Nations Millennium Development Goals, and universal primary education stood out to us as the foundation to all the other goals. Because only with education you empower individuals to a level where they can solve their own problems. My name is Zimi. I am seven years old. I come from a place you've never heard of, a country you cannot pronounce, a continent you'd rather forget. Our real problem is access to education. With education, we will solve our own problems. There are 2.4 billion children in the world and nearly 200 million children are not even enrolled in schools. Without education, how can we ever hope for improved incomes and economic growth? How can we hope for better child and maternal health while the current population is unequipped to think about, let alone solve such critical issues? Only with education can we hope for a thoroughly sustainable environment and find ways to combat diseases which have plagued the third world nations and have claimed countless lives. Unfortunately, a software program alone is not the answer. What we need is not just a software, but a solution. We need to provide a platform which enables growth and promises better futures. There are over 800 million people on our planet without the ability to read and write. What the children in the third world countries are missing the most is access to education. Children are lacking the tools that could help in their education and learning. Literacy in today's society is no longer analog. The current methods are simply not enough to cater for the growing number of illiterate children in the world. There is a dire need to approach this old problem in a new and innovative manner. In the last decade, the use of digital age technology has been increasingly used to provide education to the developing world. Programs such as One Laptop Per Child Initiative, OLPC, and the Intel Classmate PC, among others, have deployed millions of laptops to some of the most remote regions of the globe. These are cheap, rugged, low-powered laptops designed for collaborative learning. Their mission is to help these countries develop an essential resource, educated and empowered children. But there is a problem. The biggest challenge that arises once these laptops have been distributed is how do we get fresh educational content to them. These laptops are digitally disconnected. They are in some of the most remote regions of the globe where there is no satellite connection, no broadband, no internet for that matter. In most cases, important materials such as health information, native language educational content, better farming practices eludes the wider population. There is no way to update these devices and this does not help in the children's learning. Hi, my name is Steve and I will introduce you to the One Beep solution. What there needs to be is a way to connect more than 2 million and growing devices just from one laptop per child and Intel's Classmate PC so that the children can receive new updated information such as educational classroom tutorials. The solution has to be low cost, low cost as in free, and the children should have access to the information for free. It has to be available everywhere as well as being reliable and one of the highest priorities was to develop a solution which did not require any further infrastructure costs. 
And you know what? The solution is the power of radio and the power of one beep. Because with the power of radio signals, we can transmit information to these devices in a way that is low cost, free, highly available and reliable, and it also does not incur any further infrastructure costs. That is because these devices in the classrooms of Rwanda or Papua New Guinea have already got everything that's required for the radio to be connected, a microphone input. So what we are providing is the magic of software to enable us to distribute digital content over the radio. Now imagine, you're part of the Ministry of Education in Rwanda in the city of Kigali, and you want to distribute educational materials to the classrooms in a remote village of Rwamagana. Sure, you could send a jeep with a package of the information, however this is not practical, efficient, cost effective and certainly not timely. We now have the power to distribute this information straight to the laptops, in the classrooms or at home, and you can send it to hundreds of other villages simultaneously. Let me show you how it works. A chosen file, which has been selected to send, is converted into audio using one Beat Publisher before being played from a radio transmitter. It is then received with one Beat Receiver through a simple radio connected to the laptop. It is then converted back to the original document and presented to the user in one Beat Library. This is a fully functional prototype which only requires a radio license and a powerful transmitter to deploy this.